Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and the new video. In this video, we're continuing the monitoring uh, series. So far, we've covered cloud monitoring, server monitoring, application performance monitoring, incident management. And now we're talking about a really important topic in businesses, which is how to save costs. So that's what, what's, that's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to introduce you to FinOps. And uh, for, you know, we can talk about cloud cost management. Um, whether let's say you're a startup or you're a large corporation, wherever you're working, managing your cloud costs, you know, effectively can be crucial as, um, I would say, I want to say as managing your health because that's the health of the startup. If you're spending too much money, if you run out of money, you're going to get, get a bit of a problem and health is wealth. So we're going to break down how you can be financially fit while maximizing your cloud investments. And uh, we're going to be using a tool called Cloud Spend by Manage Engine. So make sure you check out the links in the description uh, below. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So let's talk about why cloud cost management is important, right? Think about your monthly expenses. You know, there's probably a budget in place that you have uh, to manage them effectively. Similarly, you know, companies as they scale their cloud usage, Cost can skyrocket if you are not monitoring it closely. And effective cloud cost management ensures that every dollar that you spend on the cloud adds value to your business. Just like you know how a balanced diet can ensure that every calorie counts towards your health. So similarly. Now, what are the challenges when we talk about cloud cost management? Quite a few that I've spoken to people about. It's, I would say, you know, when we talk about managing cloud costs, it isn't without its hurdles, you know, there are challenges. And when we talk about the first challenge, which is, I've, I've actually mentioned it in the last video as well, uh, and you can probably guess it, visibility. Knowing what services you're using and how much they cost, like when you're at a restaurant, you check the bill, for example. Um, another major challenge is uh, the complexity of pricing models, you know, which can be as confusing as a foreign language menu. And lastly, I would say also predicting costs, which can be tricky, like you're predicting the weather, uh, making budgeting a tough nut to crack. So visibility is the most common one. I mean, so it's how you get started because you wouldn't know where your money is going until unless you visualize it. These are some of the challenges. Now, what are some of the practical tips uh, for managing cloud costs? Right. First one being right size your services to match your needs. Okay. And uh, this is very, very important. Uh, sometimes people overpay mm -hmm. for resources they're not using. Um, think of it like when you're going on a vacation, you only take a handful number of clothes, right? You don't take your entire wardrobe. Uh, maybe some people do, but only bring what you need, use what you need. Second tip I can give you is use budget alerts. We spoke about this in the previous videos. And uh, if you're like into fitness and stuff, you maybe count, you may count your calories or whatever. And it will notify you if you go overboard. So mm -hmm. use these budget alerts when they will notify you when you overspend. And also optimized you know, storage solutions um, as well. It's another tip that I can give you. Also, since we're talking about tips, let's talk a little bit about the common mistakes to avoid as well. So the number one mistake is forgetting to turn off unused services. So a common example is like, um, you know, you're usually you're running a server or something, a cluster, whatever, and it's not being used, but you kept it running. Waste of money. Like when you go out and you just keep your lights on, you know, waste of electricity and you'll get the extra bill. Um, the second mistake um, that I would want you to avoid is over provisioning resources because, you know, it's, it's more than you can handle. Don't over-provision your resources. And the real world example can be don't over-order food more than you can eat it. Okay, it leads to waste. So don't over-provision your resources. Lastly, do not ignore hidden costs. There can be many hidden costs like data transfer fees, egress charges, you know, all these other things that hyperscalers have, uh, which is not cool. So try to be... I would say try to not get into vendor lock-in uh, because these little, little things can compile into a bigger uh, bigger bill. If you have, a, let's say, a pipe in your bath bathroom, it's leaking drop by drop, you will see that 
overnight that would fill up the whole you know like mug or something so yeah hidden costs that's a big one right so how do we uh, set up a finops process well i would say that it's like um, setting up a home gym you know you require the initial investment but then the returns are worth it okay so some people are like you know it's costly or whatever yeah it's fine but in the end it will be worth it how do you start you start by assembling a cross functional team then establish clear roles and responsibilities and uh, also implement tooling for visibility and reporting and ensuring that everyone knows you know what the budget is so having a sort sort of like a cost first approach i would say within your organization and when we talk about you know implementing these uh, metrics for example what are some of the key metrics to monitor cost efficiency so this is the measure cost per unit of usage first one budget variance which is the uh, you know when you track actual spend versus the planned spend so you know how much you're spending based on how much you plan to spend third one being unit economics which is where you understand the cost versus the revenue generated by each unit of service so you know whether if you're spending more for cloud is it actually helping your business or are you just spending more for no reason so spending more is not necessarily a bad thing you know if you're scaling quite a lot a lot of users then you're you know spending quite a lot but then your revenue grows as well in that case it's a fine good thing so unit economics will help you in that cool let's take a look at a demo so this is what the website looks like uh, same folks uh, company who made uh, site 24x7 you can check it out and yeah, I can try it for free as you can see a lot of uh, information uh, you can implement guardrails uh, take control of multi-cloud costs that's multi-cloud can be a bit complicated actionable insights you can dive into the granular details many platforms support it so on and so forth this is what the dashboard looks like so here's the overall accounts number of resources here i can see the apps type 24x7 is what we already used cloud spend is what i'm using right now i click on this and see it'll take me to a different app here i can see my services uh previous month this much amount i can click on it and i can see the total cost max spending anomaly count um, i can see how the account is split up as well cost per component what every component is paying cost per service how much am i paying for all these services right and the trends and the history you can see quarterly yearly trends cost by resources cost by agent cost by air transfer cost by instant time so pretty cool stuff all right um that's what i wanted to show you that was the overall and how you can get into it in detail as well and here you can go into like accounts wise region wise as well so us east and uh, west asia europe how much are they spending so i can see us is like spending quite a lot and here you can see i'm getting more information about it right you can get the chart as well and uh, yeah do a bunch of things business units here you can check out the business units i just want to check out let's say for one cloud provider and i can just click on it and see i can get the information for that specific provider you can also budget accordingly and it's going to show you whether you ran over budget the budget was this much and you currently went over overspent a little bit um this one is in budget current versus budgeted as you can see it also gives you a forecast meaning whether you would cross your budget or not it's going to give you notifications as well and you can set up some periods and whatnot lastly there is some reports as well that you can check out overall cost month to month cost year by cost uh, based on all the services and regions overall cloud cost and here are some admin stuff where you can add people in and uh, you know change some settings and all sorts of things but yeah pretty cool uh stuff i would recommend checking it out in the description below and let me know if you have any questions and uh, make sure you sign up to site 24x7 uh, because we're using it in this monitoring 
playlist. Cool. So that was about it. I would say thanks a lot for watching. It's also not just about tools. You know, it's when we talk about cost management, it's a sort of about culture as well in your organization. And uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to share. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. So yeah, it's, it's just uh, I see people, you know, mention quite a lot about uh, cost monitoring at conferences and stuff. I just like to end with, um, you know, saying that it's not just about cutting costs, but it's also about optimizing your spend to achieve better financial health for your company. So increasing costs are not always a bad. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you check out the links in the description below. Sign up. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any more video requests, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.